Alert, UK issues horrifying terror warning to world millions are in danger. Islamic terrorism is the biggest threat facing the world right now. In Europe, the danger is particularly acute thanks to dumb open-door policies regarding Muslim immigrants. In the United Kingdom, Metropolitan Police Commissioner Cressida Dick has revealed that London police have stopped five terror attacks in the past several weeks. Some of these attacks were very close to being carried out, via Daily Telegraph. Already this year the UK has seen several jihadist attacks. Back in March, a British convert to Islam named Khalid Massoud, 52, drove a rented Hyundai SUV into pedestrians on London Bridge, killing four. Massoud then attacked Westminster, where he killed a police officer before being killed by armed police, via Daily Telegraph. A few months later, a Libyan British suicide bomber named Salman Abedi, 22, targeted young girls and their parents at a Ariana Grande concert in Manchester. Abedi's suicide vest, which was full of nails and other shrapnel, killed 20 people, via NBC. On June 3, three jihadis wearing fake suicide belts began attacking pedestrians near London Bridge. While shouting this is for Allah. The attacker stabbed and slit the throats of several innocent civilians, via the Sunday. Britain's summer of terror continued on when 47-year-old Darren Osborne drove a van into several Muslim worshippers leaving London's Finsbury Park, via The Guardian. Of all of these terror attacks, the Finsbury Park one, which had the smallest body count, received the most negative coverage in the press. Why? Because the attacker was white and the victims were Muslim. Even nominally liberal Brits saw this as gross media hypocrisy, especially after so many so-called hate preachers on the right warned that government inaction over Islamic terrorism would lead to vigilantism, via YouTube. Also underreported in the media was the fact that the Finsbury Park Mosque has a long history of promoting jihadism and Islamic terrorism, via news. Thankfully, the London police seem more active these days in putting down the Islamic terror threat. However, one must be cautious in praising the British police. After all, of all the terror attacks already mentioned, Barring the Finsbury Park attack, the jihadists were known and well connected to other terror suspects. Abedi had even been let into the country after attending terrorist training camps in Libya, while one of the London Bridge attackers had been the subject of a television documentary called The Jihadists Next Door. Also. Never forget that it was the British police of Rotherham and other northern cities who let Muslims Pakistani rape gangs target white girls for decades because they were scared of being called racist, via the Trebuchet. Let us celebrate any thwarting of terrorism, but also demand more from the British state in regards to its jihadist problem.